Greetings all, Shane Bruce, Rest of Mod Daisy. Uh, we're working on some stock sets here, and we're trying a new technique uh, that I've read about and piddled with, but never really done on a stock before. This is called boning. Uh, it's a real old-timey gunsmith kind of thing that they did back when long rifles ruled the day, and gun makers were individuals who built rifles one at a time. Uh, the basic concept is uh, you will have shaped your stock, you will have uh, sanded your stock, you will have stained your stock. Uh, now at the end of the process what we're going to do is use a tool, in this case a cow horn, uh, to bone the stock. And what we're going to try to do here is utilize the tool, which is a slightly harder material but not metal, than the wood we're working on, and we're just going to rub the wood in an attempt to compress grain. And what we're looking to do is compress the grain. It's hard to see, but you'll notice little streaks. And what we're trying to do here is force the wood fiber back into the main body of the wood, even though it's already been sanded to a uh, 320 level. But we've put uh, our stain on, we've put our oil treatments on, and now we're doing a boning technique. Now what we're going to try to do is lay the wood grain back down in whatever channel it originally popped out of, compress it to smooth up the surface of the wood. Now. This process does result in a lot, it's hard to, hard to see, but in the difference in the surface already, because we've compressed the wood fibers, is to the touch quite smooth. Now over here on this piece, which hasn't been done, you'll notice there's a lot of small surface imperfections. And those are wood fibers that are actually standing up. And that is real uh, prevalent, especially in curly wood, because you have grain undulations that move uh, through the wood itself. You can see it when you flex the, or you know, shift the light angle. This is one of the great things about curly maple because it has that chatoyance effect. So the idea here is that after we've got it to this stage, we take a tool and we compress wood fibers. Now, what we'll do is we'll rub all of the stocks that I'm currently working on down because this is a test and let them dry and then we'll go back and do a touch test and see if we need to do a little bit more high grit sanding. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to but you never know until you go. And if this technique works as well as it works for long rifle builders then it certainly will work well for us Daisy BB gun builders. So that's all for today. Shane Bruce, Resto Mod Daisy, signing off.